Hello everyone, I'm Darcy Bono, and in this video I'm going to show you how to paint one of the most dreaded details of the Imperium, the Purity Seal. Yes, those cute little scraps of parchment and wax seen throughout the Space Marines and the Sisters of Battle. And due to their small size, they can be quite intimidating for new painters and even somewhat tedious for more experienced painters. So I wanted to make this video because according to the pictures on Warhammer Community, it looks like nearly every one of the new Space Marines have at least one purity seal on them. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to paint these things in three steps. Let's do it. So here we are. This is a purity seal from the Black Templars upgrade kit. This was the only one I had that wasn't already attached to a miniature. I figured that'd be a little less distracting and allow my camera to focus. This will give you an idea of how tiny this thing is. This is my little finger. It dwarfs this thing. So because we're working with something so tiny, if we want to preserve the detail, I'm going to be using contrast paints. So that being said, make sure you start with a light surface. This has been primed white, but a light gray or ivory will work just as well. So we are going to start with our text first. The reason we're doing this is because it's a lot easier to correct any mistakes in this step, and I'll explain why later. This will become obvious as I, as I start to do this process. So I'm using Black Legion Contrast with just a speck of Lamian Medium in it. Really any black or dark brown will work just fine, you just want it slightly thinned. So it flows off your brush easily, it doesn't blob, it doesn't run. I highly recommend taking a few practice swings, you can see there on the painting handle I've taken a few before I started, just so you know how this paint will behave. As far as brushes go, I'm using a 02 Da Vinci, but basically any brush with a very fine point is what you're looking for. But as I said, take a few practice swings so you understand how the point of your brush behaves in addition to how the paint flows. For increased stability, I have my brush hand resting, kind of socked into the knuckles of my left hand, while my left hand, the handle hand, is braced against the desk edge. So you want very little actual like wrist movement. You basically only want your fingers moving and everything else is supported. So now that I've got the script laid out, I'm going to show you how to make some very quick corrections. Because our parchment isn't parchment colored yet, and all we have is a white background, this is super easy to fix. All you have to do is put white over top of the lines that you don't like. You can completely erase them if you want. You can make them a little bit thinner. I'm using Monument Hobbies Titanium White because it's a very smooth, opaque white, but whatever your base color is that you're painting on right now, use that to correct any mistakes. And for some reason, I thought I'd paint a Roman numeral five on here, and to my eye, at the time, it looked just fine. Looking at it on the footage, it's obviously a little bit wonky, but you get the gist of what you're supposed to be doing. Make lines, make icons, and then you move on to the infinitely easier part. Step two is just taking Flesh Terror's Red Contrast and applying it to the seal. You're just using it directly from the pot, nothing fancy. If you're working with Space Marines that already have red armor, so if you're doing Blood Angels, I recommend adjusting this a little bit with either Basilicanum Gray to kind of mute it into like a gothic dark red, or you can even use Shaiish Purple, just like a speck of it in there, so it's more of a, like a deep, rich burgundy instead of the same red as your armor. All right, super easy final step. All you're going to do is mix Skeleton Horde Contrast, one drop, with three drops of Nuln Oil. This will make a nice yellowed parchment color, and then you're just going to swipe that over the paper part. So the only thing to really pay attention to here is just how the shade pools in more crumpled parchment. Some of the Black Templars have very folded pieces. So just watch how the shade pools in the recesses. And if you notice that it's oversaturating an area, just take a damp brush and lightly pat out the excess shade. So with our shade coat completely dried, we have finished a purity seal. Really the only difficult part is making those tiny lines, and that honestly just comes with practice. The more you do this, the quicker that step will go, and then the last two literally take seconds. So just remember, these are details. They are not meant to be the main focus. Once this is on the miniature entire, any small flaws are gonna be pretty unnoticeable. So I hope that helps alleviate some fears as far as painting purity seals go. Let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe if you found it helpful, and until we meet again, happy painting everyone.